Hi, I'm Mark Smith. I work at KeyBank and I manage some of our business cards and our automated payable solutions. This year, I had the fortunate opportunity to work with Tadas and the Genius AI team on their product and what they're bringing and going to be talking about today. Uh, so Genius AI, they combine psychology, neuroscience, behavioral science with uh, uh, behavior economics in order to figure out how to impact your client's buying decisions, your prospect's buying decisions, how to predict customer behavior, and ultimately how do you anticipate how you should be interacting with these different clients or prospect bases. Why is this important? So as we think around how to influence your ability to drive new revenue, attract new clients, or to reduce attrition, some of the opportunity that this product delivers, delivers on how that can actually resonate itself within your organization. So far, the Genius AI team has been able to have momentum within direct-to-consumer businesses, as well as international financial services firms. Tadas, um, who will be uh, talking in a minute, he uh, has a PhD in computational neuroscience from the University of Cambridge, um, and has a strong team that has both a technical and a uh, research background to complement the services. With that, let me introduce Tadas. Hi, everyone. Becoming a customer company is hard. 94% of banking firms are still unable to deliver on the personalization promise. Even with over $1 trillion spent on technology uh, globally in the last three years. At the same time, you have customer-obsessed fintech and insure tech uh, challengers that are growing their market share uh, and that are also are raising hundreds of millions of venture funding. And also, at the same time, you have companies like Facebook that are inherently customer-centric, uh, launching financial services products. My name is uh, Tadas Yutsikas, uh, and I'm a co-founder and CEO at Genus AI. Uh, I've spent over 10 years at quantifying behavior. And during my PhD in computational neuroscience, I used data and algorithms to uncover things unknown to science. And there's absolutely no reason why banks or insurance companies can't do the same. And that's why I created Genus AI. We're the world's first enterprise AI platform that helps to create emotional intelligence at scale. The insights that the platform generates are rooted in the sciences of neuroscience, personality, psychology, uh, and behavioral economics. And the platform allows building predictive models um, about business critical customer behavior, as well as recommends next best actions for creating uh, that uh, emotional intelligence. So how does it all work? We actually take data from you and we uh, join that data with trusted uh, external uh, data sources. And our deep machine learning and uh, neural networks architecture creates insights and tags on an ongoing basis every single customer. So how do you achieve emotional intelligence? We help with recommending tone, narrative, layout, images, language, when you actually are talking about what's most important to you. So this is an example of a direct-to-consumer insurance brand, and they have a specific demographic that they're trying to target. And well, you pick a tone and narrative and you go to market uh, and advertise your product. But actually, well, what if the customer that you're speaking with is highly analytical uh, and very independent, and they, they love facts and figures? In fact, if you include bullet points, if you include uh, clean and organized design, if you actually talk, use adjectives that are precise and structured, you are helping this customer to understand what you're trying to say. And the same applies to uh, consumers and customers that are different. Um, we're really excited to be working with some of the leading brands um, in the direct-to-consumer space, where we're seeing tremendous value by increasing lift by almost 300% in predictive models for things like churn, lifetime value, and so on. Increased engagement, um, and most importantly, up to three times increase in the actual revenue generated uh, through these activities. We achieved our strategic objectives being part of the FinTech Innovation Lab, where we partnered with six um, partnering firms and discovered three verticals or free applications where we're very excited to be moving forward to work on POCs. 
Uh, we have the best team in the world to deliver this. Um, and we're excited that during the course of this program, just in May, we're able to close our next funding round, bringing the total funding, uh, funding amount to $5 million. This will help us to grow our business uh, and grow our um, teams uh, in Europe, uh, San Francisco, and of course here in the New York City, which we're very excited about. So I'd like to thank Maria, Sunny, and the rest of the FinTech Innovation Lab team for creating a great experience. I'd like to uh, thank the mentors, um, the uh, chaperones, uh, the advisors for really spending their time and genuinely giving us their feedback. That is extremely valuable. Thank you. And I'd like to invite you all to come over to our booth and uh, talk more about us if you're interested uh, in understanding your customers and engaging with them in an emotionally intelligent way. Thank you.